All right, so in this video, I want to talk about Aaron Rodgers and what happened recently on Monday Night Football. So as we know, Aaron Rodgers suffered a Achilles tendon tear injury on Monday Night Football against the Buffalo Bills. And it was a injury that was hard to watch. Um, I personally particularly don't like Aaron Rodgers. I just don't like him as, you know, overall as a person like that. No, not that he. I know him personally. Or anything. I just don't like how he moves. He kind of move, he gives me a LeBron S type moves. The way he manipulates the media, the way he tries to play off like people are stupid, like we don't see onto the BS that he is. But I never wish an injury on no player, and I definitely um, am concerned and hope he has a, a, a healthy, speedy recovery from Achilles tendon. Um, it was hard to watch to see, but again. Yeah. Hope that he has a great recovery and that he can bounce back from this next season. So, as you know, he had the season ending uh, torn Achilles tendon, which is going to take a while to recover and bounce back from. Normally, when I see players from like different sports league, for example, like Kevin Durant, when he had his Achilles tendon, it took him almost two seasons for him to like bounce back have uh, come back healthy but it's possible and I feel like Aaron Rodgers can do it now granted he as his uh, old age of 38 you have to start asking questions will he be the same when he returns next season after recovering from such a tough injury such as that that's something that you know you have to ask yourself if you're uh, Bill's um, a Jets organization because they just made the trade for him from the Green Bay Packers, and you already know that they're moving on with Kevin. Um, I said Kevin. So my apologies. I'm mean, Jordan Love, and they've been looking good so far. But again, it's early in the season, two for two. But the Jets, what do they go for? Here? What do they do? Because obviously, they were trying to see if they could have a successful year. They have a good defense. They have a decent squad. They had Delvin Cook as a running back. Now they just dropped another receiver. So now they were trying to really make headways and try to contend and make a deep push to make the playoffs. And it has been a while since they been competitive and made the playoffs. So this huge setback that they're dealing with right now is a big blow to their season overall with Aaron Rodgers being out for the whole year. And will he be back 100% from this particular injury? Because Achilles tear is a gruesome injury that is hard to come back from and even when you do come back from will you be the same player that everybody was expecting because again his last year in Green Bay wasn't the best season now granted he was coming off prior to back-to-back -back MVP season which was good but you know you're only as good as your last season so that's what people are saying right now but again that's another question that the Jets are going to have to ask themselves. Currently, he's 38 years old, and by next year, he will be 39 coming off that injury. So, as you get older, it gets tougher and tougher to continue to play at such a high level, high level and see that you can perform with new emerging talents coming out every year that's young, fresh, ready to show they could do so. It's going to be tough for Aaron Rodgers. Um, he did break his silence um, after the injury by making a post on IG saying that he's already you know, going to do surgery and going through recovery, which is good. I hope he has a speed recovery. I hope he's able to make it through and play next season. But the outlook doesn't look too good for most people who had Achilles tear. So, but again... We'll see what happens. I can be wrong. I have been wrong before in terms of what I think happened with certain players and injuries. And we'll just have to hope for the best for Aaron Rodgers. Now, my next uh, point that I wanted to talk about is the NFL and the artificial turf situation. Now, as we know, the Jets were playing on artificial turf. And that a lot of critics of the NFL wants them to get rid of the artificial turf because they feel like it's not beneficial to the players and that 
is causing injuries. Now, there are certain stadiums that have artificial turf, at least 15 of them, and they want to uh, get rid of the artificial turf there and put in real grass. Um, I don't know how that would work. They they did, did an estimate. Instead of they were to get rid of all the artificial turf and put in real grass, it's going to cost the NFL at least $12 million to maintain the grass so that way players can play on it and don't have to worry about the fake artificial turf, which is a drop in the bucket for the NFL. I feel like they have the money to do that if they want to, but again, that's the decision that they're going to have to come up with because if they do have artificial turf for almost half almost a good portion of half the teams and injuries like this accrue more frequently it's going to be bad for the league it's going to be bad for the players overall because it's going to ruin their financial game it's going to ruin the players financial game move forward so if it just costs 12 million dollars to maintain a football field for with real grass then i think that's just something that they're going to have to do so that way a gruesome Achilles tendon injury or ACL injury or any type of leg injury or whatever injury, regardless, does it ha- like like this? Does it happen again? So that way, everybody could be on the field as healthy as they can, so they can perform at a high level. Football is already a tough sport as it is, so why add any more problems to it by adding fake grass that's possibly causing injuries to players because of if they step wrong or turn their ankle wrong or do any type of movement that could cause uh, injury. So, again, they, that's something that they need to deal with overall. Now, on my next point, I want to talk about what is the Jets' outlook on the future? What would they do now? Will they continue to be competitive in the tough AFC East, or do they hang it up and focus on next season when they get Aaron Rodgers back 100%? Because I don't, I don't see, I, I, to be honest, to be honest, I didn't see the Jets having a good season with Aaron Rodgers anyway. Would they have been a little bit more competitive? Sure. But I don't think they was going to be as good. I feel like it was going to take them a season or two for them to be really, really competitive and figure things out. A lot of things are new. New coaching staff, new quarterback, um, new scheme system, uh, defense, everything. It was about they about to figure it out during the season. And I felt like they was going to chill later on down the season. But now with Aaron Rodgers gone, the outlook of the team moving forward is going to look grim. Because now they have Zach Wilson as a quarterback. And let's be honest, Zach Wilson is trash. I don't see him helping the Jets make a deep, deep run in the season by having a, a winning season. I feel like they're going to be the bottom feeder of the AFC East 14. They're going to be the, they're going to be the bottom. They're going to be the base 13 because they, they're not going to be able to deal with the Bills. They're not going to be able to deal with the Dolphins. And I don't see them being able to deal with the Patriots and other teams that's on their schedule right now. So personally, I mean, they could try to become competitive because they still have a young, up and coming team. But the outlook is looking bleak right now because once the season is over, it will be seen as a waste because Aaron Rodgers is not here and he won't come back at the end of the season to help them make a playoff push if they have a decent winning record. And then even next season, it's going to be tough for them because, again, I want to reiterate this, will Aaron Rodgers come back the same? Or will he be as good as ever to help this team possibly win again? I don't see it, but who knows? I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. And we just have to wait. Look, I just know Zach Wilson is not the answer. And this season is basically wasted at this point because there's nothing to play for. But those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. This Evo Speaks out. Peace.